Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I am going to bring to you today this little tutorial of snowdrops. This is actually my first time painting snowdrops. Well, for the video the second time, this was my practice and I really liked it. And so I am going to recreate it and show you guys a step-by-step -step tutorial. So as always, I am using a Winsor & Newton for my details, like these little lines are with this one. And it's a number zero. Then I am using my Camelon Pro number four. It's a filber brush that is synthetic. And I will find a similar one on Amazon and leave it on the description below. This one was bought in Japan in a store and but i'm sure you can find one on amazon so i will leave the link down below i am also using indigo or paints gray both work great and i have it diluted here a little bit and because i am going to use different values so i'm going to use a very watered down and then i'm going to use it very like intense for the paper i am using arches hot press so it's very smooth it doesn't have a texture and of course i have some water ready so i'm just gonna go ahead and try to repeat the steps that i did before and show you how i did it so i am going to start with my filbert brush so i have my pigment very watered down like a very low value of the pigment and I am going to start kind of um, using the flat part that will create the shape of, of the flower. It's just one brush stroke. kind of here in the center so I, with the same brush I am just going to use a very saturated or like a high value like a dark value of the same color and the same brush and I am going to do kind of this where it grows and then the big stem. Just kind of be confident with your brush stroke. It'll it'll work out, I promise. Then they have this little kind of something like that. I think that's that's an extra one I didn't like an extra little leaf that I added so I'm going to do kind of the same clean my brush with clean water Thank you. 
am going to use the fine line brush, the number zero. I'm going to create a little bit of the leaves. And now that these are sort of uh, mostly dry, I am going to add the details of the flower. Please notice that I am going outside of what I already painted because that is the style that I am aiming for. That was not quite dry yet. Okay, so I think that'll be enough with the details painting um, dark details. So I am going to now define more details with this Pentouch White. And that is what I use for these details. Oh, I forgot the water. I'm gonna add the water. I'm cleaning my brush with water and I'm using a very low saturation or value of the pigment the same one and i'm going to just create some ripples that's enough so that is all Cleaning on my brushes, and now I am going to use this one. So it's a fine line and it's just white, and that 
it's all. So I'm going to add some details to really define the, the shape of the flower. painting over this one because I noticed that it's shiny and it's still wet so it's all right that one can stay that way the white is gonna show a lot more on the darker places so I'm just trying to do a, a little bit more detail and that is all for a hot minute there I thought I was messing it up and I was not going to be able to do this tutorial but it actually turned out really cute so there you guys have it I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial as always all the materials are linked in the description below if you have any questions about the technique or the materials please let me know in the comments and i will get back to you as soon as i can don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel for all my content and all the up-to-date content that i upload as soon as i can and for daily content you can follow me on instagram at love letters to milo so i'll see you guys next time Bye.